Hello and welcome back. One of the things you'll always see on this channel is reviews of leather goods. Leather's probably my favorite material and I love seeing what different makers are doing with it. So many times it's these really unique takes on classic designs, but for the most part, if you take care of a good piece of leather, it will last generations. I mean, vintage leather jackets, there's a whole separate market for that. People who originally owned them are long gone, but people restore them and they just like that old look. So when you get a new leather good, if you take care of it, chances are it may outlive you. So because I love to review leather goods, I've had the good fortune to experience a lot of different leather products. But today I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is the nicest thing that I've reviewed that's been made out of leather. I know that's a lofty statement because there's been so many, but really, this is the nicest thing that I've ever had the opportunity and privilege to review. So there's no secret, you saw the title, we're talking about the Frank Clegg Signature Duffel, a bag which I have really struggled to take my eyes off of since I got it. It is unreal, but you know, I could try to explain to you how nice it is. Let me just be quiet for a while and take a look for yourself. What we're looking at here is vegetable tanned tumbled leather, which is a lot softer and a little bit more supple than the traditional harness belting leather that you're used to seeing in most leather bags. Now it comes to you with a light wax coating on it. What this is really to do is to protect the leather, but it also gives that nice soft shine that you see there. When the light hits it just right, it's really breathtaking. And this really just shows you the level of depth and character to good leather that you just simply can't get with fake leather or more inferior grades of leather. Everything we're looking at here is the best of the best. Of course, we're talking about that beautiful leather, the solid brass hardware, that gorgeous Riri zipper. I never thought I would say gorgeous and zipper in the same sentence, but here we are. And the Sombrella lining. Now, Sombrella is an interesting fabric. What it really is, is meant for outside awnings, which means that it's very, very durable and water resistant the perfect thing to put on the inside of your bag. And it looks pretty cool too, actually. As a matter of fact, the Armory is offering a version of this bag with the Sombrella fabric on the outside. So if you really like it and you wanna show it off, you can get one over there. However, I think the most alluring thing about this bag is the design. Now, if you didn't see my video about Frank Clegg where I went to his workshop and interviewed him, he went through a couple of his different designs and how he got to the place that they became a reality. It was really interesting as far as this one's concerned. Check it out. The design of this bag came in a, a different way. Uh, shortly after we moved into our last facility, I had a gentleman that came in and he was looking for a couple of uh, log carriers. And so his only requirement was he cuts the wood 18 inches long and he wants to be able to carry the wood, you know. And this is one for me and one for my wife. So I said, okay. So. I made the straps so that they went right around the bottom, but then I put the bottom on so that the straps wouldn't get the stitches damaged. This is what it was. It was the handles like this and everything. Uh, it actually had this strip across the top so that it wouldn't, wouldn't flex. And he, he, he got those two and then he decided uh, he wanted something different because his wife, the, the logs were falling off on her. She couldn't carry it the way she wanted. So I said, why don't I put a, like an end piece on, on the, you know, the, the log carrier. So when I did, I mean, this is what I saw, but without the zipper. And I said, wow, that, that looks like a, a nice duffel. I just like the way it looked. So this is actually the size that the log carrier was, this particular bag. And then to make one that was more of a standard size bag, I just shortened it four inches and then it came up with the signature one. So it's kind of funny that the humble beginnings of this gorgeous piece began as a log carrier, but I'll tell you what, that would be the nicest looking log carrier that you've ever seen. Now, I would never want to bring you a bag without testing it out for myself because after all, it may be made out of the finest materials, it may look gorgeous, but if it doesn't really work in practical application, 
then what good is it? You might as well just put it on a shelf somewhere and just look at it. So what I did is I had a couple of video projects. I had to go into the city, and uh, so I put all my stuff into this bag. All of my camera, my batteries, my media, microphone, all that stuff. Loaded this thing up to the gills. It was actually pretty heavy. Brought it to the train station, took the train into Manhattan. I walked from Grand Central to where the video project was taking place, and that was about two miles away, with this. And so in that time, I was able to carry it a few different ways. I was able to carry it with the handles, with the shoulder strap, you know, slung across, slung over one shoulder, because it was so heavy, you couldn't just leave it on and forget about it. And it gave me a really good opportunity to feel how it held the weight, how strong it was, how comfortable it was to carry, and how good it was in application. And I have to tell you, it passed with flying colors. One of the things that really makes it useful is the way that that top opens. Now, I'm not sure that Frank actually invented this. It's the first time I've seen it, so maybe he has. Uh, Frank, I'm sorry, if you invented this, I don't mean to take anything away from you, but the fact that this zipper on the top opens, and it essentially opens as far as, as the, the width of the bag. It's like a wide mouth bass, this thing coming at you. You could put something big right down into it, and that means that when I was lowering my camera with all my gear in there, I didn't have to pull the top apart or anything. I was able to just open it up and drop it right in. Then you close it back up, zip it, and you're good to go. This thing really performed flawlessly. Not to mention, it really is a great experience to walk around a beautiful city like New York with something like this over your shoulder. If you've never done it before, I highly recommend it. Part of what makes this design so beautiful and such a fan favorite is its simplicity. There's not a lot of stuff on this, nothing that really doesn't have a use. So you have your clips on the side for the shoulder strap, you have your handles, you don't have much else. Really that's all that you see out there, but everything that's on display is there for a reason. So in that way it's very honest. There's no fake buckles, there's no redundancy of clasps just to look a certain way. It operates exactly as it should, nothing more, and what else could you ask from a bag? It's been really great. Now one of the only things that I would like to see on the outside is maybe a small exterior pocket. Some place where you could just slide your phone, your passport, whatever. I really like to have an exterior pocket on my bags. But then again, this is a duffel bag. This isn't something you're gonna be carrying around all the time. This is a perfect carry-on, it's a perfect travel bag, but you really probably won't carry this as your main bag. Most of the time you'll have a satchel or something like that, so that's the place to keep those type of things. Maybe I'm judging it a little bit too harshly, but I always do like to have it in one exterior pocket just to slip those little items that you don't wanna to have to open the whole thing up for. One of the things that Frank mentioned during our interview is the way that the handles sit. It was really interesting and something I never thought of before and until I carried this thing with quite a bit of weight in it, I didn't appreciate. And that's the fact that he designed these handles to sort of nest within each other so that you can have a closed fist around the handles. If they were wider, you don't really have an, a closed hand. You have sort of an open hand, which is kind of difficult. Think about grabbing onto anything. If you could kind of wrap your fingers around it, you have a much more firm grip. Whereas if you're holding like that, well, it's just really relying on your fingers. So when I had a lot of weight in this and I was carrying it around, I really appreciated that. It made it very comfortable to carry. Now that small thing is a clear indicator that this is a design that Frank has been working on and refining for the 40 years that he's been in business. And now it's down to a science where everything works just as it should. And that's something that you really, you almost just can't nail right out of the box. That's why they have beta testing. That's why they have different versions. Heck, it took the guy who invented WD-40 40, 40 tries before he came up with that particular formula. So over the years, what we have now is the benefit of Frank's discovery, what works for people, what comes back broken and he has to repair, because to him, it makes a lot of sense to do it right the first time. It means less products coming back. It means more people recommending his products. And I have to say, after using this thing, I will be one of those people. Frank Clegg has been doing this since the early 70s. As a matter of fact, when Barack Obama needed a briefcase, who do you think he called? Frank Clegg. Now, agree with Obama or not, that's pretty cool to make the briefcase for the president. The Signature Duffel is a bag that I will keep and use for my entire life and hopefully one day pass down to my children. They're gonna have to figure out which one of them gets it, but you know what, that's on them. This is a piece that I can see myself using well into the future and it only looking better with age because that's what happens to good leather. Now, a little bit more about Frank Clegg. If you wanna go over there, he has a lot of different models. After all, I've been doing this for so long, he's been able to develop a lot of different things for a lot of different people. So he has a very, very big collection over there 
there, something that definitely will suit you. But most interestingly is the different types of leather. I mean, you have your typical, you know, bovine leather and stuff like that, but you can also get shrunken leather, which is essentially when they take a hide and they tan it, they usually stretch it out to let it dry. When they don't do that and they just let it dry without being stretched out and held, it's, it forms this almost exotic look to it. The pattern is really, really cool. And that's Shrunken Bison, which looks really, really good. I think I may choose that for my next Frank Clegg piece because it looks really interesting. Aside from that, they also have things like goat skin. They have crocodile, they have python. Of course, they have suede. They have their sombrella on the inside and the outside. All kinds of different things you can mix and match. And if you get in touch with them, they are able to basically make you anything you can possibly think of. But the thing that I really like about Frank Clegg is that he's there every day up in Massachusetts putting these things together with his sons Ian and Andrew and it's a family affair and you can tell that there's a sense of pride that they have for making this stuff in America doing the best they can and knowing that now with the internet whatever you're making is going to be compared to stuff all over the globe so it has to be truly world-class but in that effort I believe they succeeded this is a phenomenal piece one that if you were to buy it for yourself, you'd be very happy, but I think it would make an even better gift and something that somebody would really be blown away by. But let's say that you actually want this as a gift. Well, do this, okay? Pause me right now. Go get your significant other, bring them over here and just unpause it. Just hand them your, your tablet or your computer or whatever and just have them watch this, okay? Ready? And pause. Hi there, I'm Carl Morawski. I don't think we've had the pleasure of meeting, but your significant other asked me to speak to you today about something that they would really like. Now, as you know, they're a great person. They work hard, but they like quality things. They like to buy something once and have it forever. And it's because of that that I would like to suggest to you something to buy for them. Now, if you go over to a website called Frank Clegg Leatherworks, there are a bunch of different things there that this person would really, really like. And I think that it would be a really nice gesture if you just ask them what they really like over there and get them something that they can have and keep for the rest of their lives, for the rest of your lives together. Wouldn't that be something? You have the opportunity to give them something that they will have forever. And every time they look at it, they'll be thinking of you and how great of a boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband you are. So I really think that that would be extra special. And just take it from me, this is my two cents. If I had to make a recommendation though, it would be Frank Clegg Leatherworks. They are some of the best out there, if not the best, in the modern day to find a family that's making leather goods of this caliber. I mean, that's a rare thing. So jump on it now because who knows how long companies like this are gonna be around. Thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. You can go ahead and give me back to, you know, so-and-so. Okay, they gone? All right, well, no guarantees, but I think it worked. But if it didn't, if you don't get it as a gift this year, it's definitely worth investing in on your own. This is just such a wonderful piece. To give you an idea, I have this in the corner of my office and when I'm sitting on my computer, I keep catching myself stealing glances at it like it's a beautiful woman across the way. And uh, if that doesn't tell you enough about this bag, I don't know what else to say. This thing is excellent, phenomenal, the best bag that I've ever used. That is very high praise, especially coming from trying out over two dozen bags in the last couple of years. That's, that's saying something. Anyway, I'd like to know your thoughts. What do you think of Frank Clegg Leatherworks? Is it something that you want? Is it something that you've had for a long time? I'd love to know about people who maybe have had one of these things and continue to use it. And let me know your story down in the comments. I absolutely love talking to you guys down there. Let's keep it going. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.